Um, it's not going to be as simple as we thought it was going to be. I think that's with any car build, I think. But this is kind of kind of crazy. I'm not going to say any names, but the shop that put this car together was not paying attention to detail, to say the least. And the drive shaft was banging against the bottom of the car. Thank God my daughter never rides in this car because I did not want a dry shaft to go up and poke her. But that's one of the little issues. The car's never been tubbed. So I think it was on my old rims because I didn't drive the car much after I got the new rims put on. But there's, you can see the metal from where the, the rims, the old rims were rubbing. And that would actually explain why the old rims gold plasti dipped or whatever it was on those wheels were fading off, scratched off, flaked off on the inside of the wheels. But um Right, so what they had going on, this was on to this correctly. That was bolted on there right. Where you go to put that on the crankshaft. That keyway in the crank is supposed to slide into the slot of the balancer here. Mm. And you can see where that balancer is split open. So what happened is when they went to press it on, it wasn't aligned right. And I think they used an impact gun and just pushed it on. So on top of that, y'all, we had this cross member here butting up to the bottom of the oil pan. Thank God that didn't puncture. But at this point, I don't even think it really matters. But... We have that. We're probably looking at another another block. Possibly, we don't know yet. But the good thing about all this is when I do get the car back, it'll be touched and done by the right people. People that stand behind their work. People who do damn good work. So I won't be driving around clenching my ass cheeks every time I hit it or do whatever in it. So. I'm actually not too sad. I'm pretty happy actually because this is going to be a badass car when it's all said and done. <clears throat> like just little stuff like this, you know, you see all this crazy ass wiring. Should have been done way neater. If y'all know who I bought this car from, then you know who did this work. But I'm not going to go on here and, and be mentioning it. Gotta love this type of stuff right here dealing with trucks pr pretty much my whole life we <laughs> seeing stuff like that is just a big lol i didn't even know people use these for real i just thought it was always a joke but yeah good thing is i got about 15 grand in really good parts so got the trick flow heads that's pretty neat i've never seen a set of these in person so that I'm happy for. The car's got really good bones. We're just seeing what we can save. Trashing the rest, selling the rest. <clears throat> and getting on with the build, bro. But, uh, yeah. Oh, another thing is, um, on the original LSA Supercharger lid, we had the, uh, what do you want to call them, the AN fittings. So we got to switch and get those for the new lid. So it's a bunch of little stuff, but we're in business now. That's what I'm happy about. And I got my car, like I said, at the right place to get the proper work done. You go in and drill it and then, you know, like back drill it. So they're drilling a hole this way, drilling a hole this way and that way. So there's a lot of processes that were done to it after the fact, you know. That's neat. Then they had it all anodized. They, they just they put a lot of thought into it. You know, it's okay. called parts. Neat. What else did I want to mention? So yeah, everything is welded apart or welded together. <laughs> You'd have to cut everything out, whatever you are trying to mess with. <sighs> so yeah, I don't know. Like they were telling me, this is part of buying a car. Yeah, what was I saying about the pipe? So we're gonna have it. Instead of having it turned down and dumped right in front of this gas tank, we're going to have it either, you know, somewhere over here or even back here. I told them they can just do whatever. I'm not being picky. I'll let them freestyle or something, but definitely not going to have it pointing right at the 
at the good flammable liquids. That would be ideal. I didn't even notice that, but we already got the new fuel pump. Um. Oh, well, we're relocating this. All this. I'm not even going to say what we're going to do in the trunk. I'm just going to show y'all whenever it comes down, but that's going to be neat. New rear end, of course. Um, so yeah. Or buying a car in general, you don't know exactly what was done to it and who was working on it and all that good jazz, but I'm going to know now. I'm going to know now. Here's the transmission. Whenever I spun and caught traction, they were telling me that the energy wants to go somewhere, so this is where it went. Hey, they fixed it for me, though. That's good. We're good. It's fine. <laughs> so I'm going to get out of there here and let them do what they do. I'm going to make a part. Well, I don't know how many parts is going to be through this video. It's going to be a project, but I'm going to do a separate video when they tear out the rear end and all this stuff back here so